So Julian is back. Hi. Her PC is spoiled. Yes, it crashed. Uh, uh. This is a simple video, it's not gonna be like the exciting video we did last time. Wait, 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 I need to say bye. I need to say bye! Basically, me fixing, fixing your big PC. First of all, uh, it keep lagging, okay. and then after that, it crash whenever yes. I open a game. Yeah, you tell me many times. Right, yeah. and then I open Actually, Google yeah. Chrome, and then it crashed also. Okay, crash. So I, will, I always keep hard restart, and it ah, always works. Okay. But then, one at one point, it just doesn't anymore. What do you mean by doesn't anymore? It just stopped. Like even if I hard restart I on it, it just So now, on now it. it doesn't even turn on. Yeah, it doesn't even turn on the PC. Okay. Uh, but it will it will light up, but like the PC is totally nothing. Mm, right. Mm. So um does you have like mini flashback of like building this PC with me? I, I yeah. <laughs> yeah. RGB memory. Oh I know. Graphic card. <laughs> building this PC has been a pain in the butt and yeah. until now it's still a pain in the butt. Yeah. So okay lah, you go and sit down. I'll, okay. I'll go try to yeah. <sighs> so we're gonna turn on the PC and we're gonna see how it goes. Yeah. Why you got so many toys inside? Oh, I yeah, and then it all dropped down when I'm moving it. Uh, chuk ma. <laughs> <laughs> this is a girl computer leh. Must look more girly girly. Girly girly. Yeah. Wow, you got a fan that's rattling also. Huh. Some days it rattles harder. Okay. <laughs> I didn't mean anything like that. Oh no, that's, I think that's your toy, is it? Oh god. Oh god. Okay, you did send me a photo of these two LEDs lighting up. Which is weird because usually only one would light up. But now you have two. And those two are the CPU and VRAM. The first thing to do is to reseat the RAM because sometimes that works. You got clean your PC or not? Nope. Actually not, not that bad. Right? I expected a lot worse. <laughs> okay, excuse me. <laughs> because you saw my previous No. no. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Never once cleaned it. Look at that. Uh, no, don't, don't look at it. Sure, what's up with your PC? Oh, you might be right. Eh? They say it might be a power supply problem. Ha! You see? I was saying that too. I was okay. So, backstory I was telling him that there's a power supply. Maybe if it's the what and the what not. No, the thing is, right, you basically say, oh, SSD problem, power supply problem, then don't know what problem. Got <laughs> so many problems, you basically say the whole PC got problem. The reason why I say it's the PSU because I searched a quick Google search. Yeah on the two lights and it said most probably it's a PSU so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take a, a PSU mm -hmm. plug it in mm -hmm. and see whether it runs alright and if it doesn't turn on or have the same problem then it's probably like a motherboard issue N nope eh? hmm yeah, it has the red, the light okay the light is gone okay so it is the power supply it is, it is the power supply Oh. <sighs> so I was right, Googling was right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> now that I got to the bottom of the problem, I had to discuss with Julian what she wanted to replace or upgrade. I of course recommended changing the PSU and with that, a new case because the Lian Li Mini only took small foam factor PSUs. Since the SFX PSU died, I suggest going for a normal size PSU. I've seen fewer problems with those compared to SFX ones. So we picked one of my case which is the NZXT H9 Flow, which I believe Julian would love. With that, a new 360 AIO water loop instead of the old 240 AIO because the 360 AIO water loop can fit the case. Also the 240 AIO is 2 years old, so it might go 40 in a year or two. Next was the SSD. They are pretty affordable now, so I recommended her to get a 2TB Samsung 980 Pro that only costs $170. I also wanted to test if the white PSU extension cable was the problem, just to rule out any other issues. And nope, the cables were fine. On to the building part. One thing I realized about PC building for friends, as opposed to myself, is that most of them don't know how to troubleshoot and repair their own PCs. A small issue like a loose cable can be a big deal. So when I build for friends, I ensure all the connections are super secure and the cable management is excellent. especially in important because the PC is being transported. Funny thing about cable management, one time I did such a neat job 
but had them so tight that all the tension was on one fan cable. Long story short, one of the fan cables came loose and one fan wasn't working. After that, I reinstalled Windows because of the new SSD and because I believe you should reinstall Windows at least once a year. It just feels like PCs get bloated over time and don't run as fast as new. But a fresh install and it feels new. Once that done, it's time to reveal the PC to Julie. Your first reveal, this is how your PC looks. Okay, <gasps> then, you, then you stand here. Okay, you ready for the lights? <laughs> so, it's very like neon. Yeah! Uh. Oh my god, this looks so amazing. <laughs> and then all the fans are working and not noisy. <laughs> yeah, oh my god, you changed out the fans. It was with the case because oh. I built this uh, PC ah. three months ago. Then yeah, so the fans are nicer. Okay, gonna need your Microsoft account. And again, because this PC is for a friend, I spent about an hour just stress testing the GPU and CPU, making sure everything is stable with both workloads. I use Fermark for GPU, Cinebench for CPU, and Core Temps to monitor the temperatures. After that, I felt comfortable handing over the PC. Why can't you be taller? I am, I'm tall. Okay, what do you think of the PC? I love it! Okay. So Alright, I'm not sure how this PC is gonna go. Mm. Eh, PC? How this video is gonna go? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but hope you enjoy. And remember to like, subscribe, and I'm done. <laughs>